This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to part three of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on reinstalling Windows XP. So now in the last segment, I talked to you about the importance of backing up all of your data from your programs, making sure you have all your photos, music, and other things, your bookmarks, your favorites, your desktop items, so that you have all these things ready. So now that we're ready, you have your reinstalled disk, Put that in your CD or DVD drive, and then go to Start, Turn Off Computer, the dialog comes up, click Restart. Now Windows is going to try to restart, but we have a disk in the CD, DVD drive. So when it encounters that disk, it's going to give you a prompt to Press any key to boot from the CD. So when you see that, press the key. And what we'll see is the beginning of Windows Setup. It's loading files, checking things out. So it's moving right along. In a short time here, it will have loaded all the files it needs to. All right, we're getting close to being finished with the loading of files here. Now, you see, we have this screen. And it's saying to us, to set up Windows XP now, press Enter. To repair Windows XP installation using Recovery Console, press R. We do not want to do that. We don't want to repair. We want to do a fresh, clean install. So we're going to take and we're going to press Enter. Now we get the license agreement that we have to agree to. And when we're ready to agree to it, we press F8. Okay, so we've pressed F8, and now it's detected our current installation of Windows XP. And it's saying if it's damaged, to repair it, press R. We don't want to repair it. We want to completely reinstall it. To continue installing a fresh copy of Windows XP without repairing, press Escape. Here's where we'll stop, and we'll continue on in Part 4.